Hi, um, Dave here, and we have a new uh, episode for the art review series. And uh, actually, I did this episode um, last night, and what happened was the audio somehow did not record, and I was essentially talking to myself for about an hour and 30 minutes. So, <laughs> gosh, I was so disappointed. <laughs> Well, not so disappointed. You know, usually I would, uh, before I would uh, let things like that kind of ruin my day. But I just ended up just laughing to myself. And uh, I just slept. And yeah, I'm recording this in the morning. Um, so yeah, let's see if we hopefully <laughs> nothing happens with the audio this time. So for now... Uh, we're going to take a look at the work of Anthony Jones. Now, Anthony Jones is... Now, usually when I do my art reviews, you know, at least in the past two episodes, I usually do some kind of research beforehand. Um, some kind of... Uh, just a, a quick look at uh, the artist's background and maybe some general notes in terms of style. And I'm, little, I'm kind of a little more analytical in that way. But I think I'm going to stop doing that and just kind of be um, kind of bold and rough with it. And I just kind of go in balls deep <laughs> and just not be so... Because uh, I feel like it's taking too long um, doing the research and stuff like that. Because I think this is something I could actually do every single day or for most days at the very least. Um... So yeah, Anthony Jones is one of those uh, people. Now, I have a lot of artists in my kind of uh, list of art to review, right? But Anthony Jones does stand out because, uh, first of all, he does have a YouTube channel. So that helps in terms of marketing. Um, but in terms of his style, uh, I remember watching one of his videos and uh, he did kind of sum up his thing. Like his top three things as creatures mechs and babes or chicks and you'll see it in his work that's kind of the major bulk 90 percent of his work is surround is kind of um in that realm or within those realms um so yeah and um just to drink some coffee sip of coffee there um and uh i do i do recommend you watch some of his videos first of all they're very educational especially he's kind of from the vault stuff but i think the his best videos are uh, for example the talent is earned video i think it's uh it's pretty good because he's not a kind of gatekeeper when it comes to uh, art you know, he's kind of the type of person that uh, uh, his general attitude is everyone can do it. For as long as you kind of just uh, practice and do the hard work, like, they're not really special, you know, and, you know, they're, they're not talented at all in some way. That's kind of how they go about their, go about their, um, I don't know, the, uh, um, their talks and something or something like that. And if I see that kind of character in a person, uh, I don't know, just... It's very, first of all, it feels good, you know, it's very encouraging, and uh, yeah, so do check out this channel. And by the way, I think his website is robotpencil.com or .net, excuse me, and um, he also has a lot, a lot of tutorials on uh, ArtStation and Gumroad. Okay, so let's take a look at his work. Okay, so now this is, uh, I think, a recent a recent p piece of his. Now, usually he doesn't do human stuff. Like, I mean, he does a lot of character stuff, but not exactly human. Although, I do notice that he's starting or he's a little more regular in terms of portraits. And he's actually kind of getting a little better when it comes to faces and stuff. Which is uh, kind of encouraging because you can actually see his progress. Even as a pro, he's still uh, developing. Um, so yeah, for the bottom part here, it's uh, it's definitely sketchy, but you know it it does tell the uh, story. 
Ah, okay, so this is kind of a kind of a hallmark of his um, style technique. His kind of portfolio pieces. He has a lot of mechs, obviously, and he does use the circle brush from time to time. <laughs> And it's actually pretty cool, you know, he's not... I mean, first of all, it does fit the subject matter. You know, it's kind of... Uh, there are a lot of kind of smooth and hard surfaces. And I, I think a simple circle brush is enough. Or very kind of not-so-textured brushes kind of fit the subject, which is uh, makes sense. But also, it's it kind of proves that it's not really about the brush, you know? Because, uh, you know... It's really about the the artist or the art technique behind it and it's really impressive I mean sometimes some of his mechs do look like 3d and I often can't tell anymore which is which um, so here we have another another kind of sketch painting you know he, it, it I can't really tell if it's a sketch or if it's a painting and I think that's kind of where I want to be <laughs> And if you notice in his videos, he usually paints uh, within an hour or an hour and 30 minutes. That's kind of where his range is at. And I think that's kind of the range that I want to be in as well. Um, and that's usually where my concentration uh, lasts, lasts and stuff. So sometimes he does use color, although he's not very... Um, he generally uh, does value paintings, but sometimes he will uh, uh, put in some color. And he'll usually have one dominant color. Um, for example, this one is yellow. Uh, by the way, this is obviously a feminine figure. And you'll see in this work, he does have nice babes and stuff. Um, so this one is a human, obviously. And as you can see for the brush strokes, I think that's a circle brush right there, a kind of flat square brush here. It's very simple and uh, I actually like it. I used to not like uh, painting paintings like this where uh, it doesn't have a lot of kind of brush variety or texture, but I don't know. After a while, it kind of uh, rubs off on me and uh, I think it's an acquired taste. <sighs> So this one is more of a sketch, um, it's a little more textured, and I think he added some kind of cinema, a cinema effect. I'm not sure what the actual term is for kind of the uh, the blue and the red kind of a glitch thing. Uh, but yeah, but yeah, um, so this is obviously very sketchy, and what he would do usually is he would uh, make everything else sketchy and then he would just focus on a certain part say 20% of the uh, the character or piece and then he would render that a little more and then he would just stop there and I think that's a kind of a good way to um, handle your paintings now I think this is more of a fan art I'm going to assume this is a Batman kind of thing because you know the bat stuff and you know uh, Anthony Jones has um, if you check out his portfolio he does have a kind of a kind of fashion lean and it's actually pretty cool because uh, I used to think fashion was kind of a uh, you know um, weird but uh, you know over time I kind of developed the appreciation for fashion and you'll notice in his work he usually does this kind of straight thin lines and within those lines he'll add a kind of highlight and that's kind of a, a, a very distinct characteristic of his fashion um, orientation, right? Oh, so we have another creature kind of person, but the face is kind of insecty, crabby. I don't know. Okay. And uh, he obviously has a nice grasp of the kind of, especially the chest and the arms. Uh, sometimes the legs a little bit, although I, I've never, he doesn't really do much of the butt, you know, and the feet, so that's not where his mastery is, I think, at least based on his portfolio. And of course, it doesn't make sense, because uh, you don't really usually look at the back, <laughs> at least for some people. Um, But yeah, 
I love the way he renders um, his organic stuff. I mean, now this one is a little more sketchy, but uh, yeah, it's still cool. The way, for example, the it just makes sense. Like if you focus in on, say, the chest area here, there are a lot of subtle values and there are kind of these small cuts of light and dark, these kind of sharp cuts, and it just makes it look more real more realistic i think um seeing those subtle variations those imperfections i think is um very interesting and look uh, look at this piece he didn't have it, he didn't had oh shit he didn't have to um uh, render the entire thing he probably just started with a very rough sketch and then just focused in on this area specifically and uh I know it, it works. Um, it saves time as well. Now this one is a little more colorful. Now I think this is supposed to be a chest, but it's starting to look like boobs. <laughs> um, so yeah, very sketchy, and I like his brush variety for this one. Um, yeah, awesome. Okay, so this is some of his portrait practice, and he does this from time to time, and I think he is getting better, um, painting faces and heads and stuff, and even hair, you know, I'm not in this level yet, um, <laughs> ay, 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 ay. oh, whoa, easy, now this is kind of an epic, and uh, usually when he does his characters and stuff, he doesn't have, he doesn't usually paint all the way to the bottom, and he usually does kind of he usually ends things in the mid section first of all it saves time and uh, it's enough to kind of get the idea going because if you ever want to develop it you can always do it uh later later on you know kind of a head to a mid section view is kind of enough usually um so yeah it's uh he usually does this does these value paintings and stuff now for this one um let me just take a sip of coffee. Uh, uh, uh. Wow, I love coffee. Uh, he obviously used a flat brush. It's horizontal or it doesn't have shape dynamics on. So it's kind of cool. And uh, yeah, and as you can see, he does have this one dominant vibrant color. It's very apparent in his style. Now this one is obviously very sketchy, but I mean, wow. <laughs> and I love his kind of, uh, I, I think he used color dodge for this one, for these kinds of uh, highlights and stuff. But damn it, it looks really cool, you know. Um, and he obviously used a little more, um, or a different, I don't know, types of brushes. But obviously you can still see his, you know. His classic circle brush stuff. Um, but yeah. And he's also pretty good. I mean, since he, since he does a lot of mechs, he's pretty good with some, uh, with suggesting kind of reflections and stuff. And I think it's, um, I think it's really cool. Um, okay, now for this one, it does make sense using a more textured brush. Because, uh, I don't know. This thing is a little more organic, and I think it helps to use something that's a little more textured to show a bit of um, texture. <laughs> and again, one dominant color, the reds, um, and some kind of skull thing, really cool. And again, you know, it's very sketchy everywhere, and then he just focuses on the head. Oh, so this one is actually an environment. Um, he usually doesn't do environments. Now, I can't say that for sure uh, in terms of his professional work because, of course, I'm just looking at his portfolio. So maybe he does environments when he's working and stuff. But I can tell his strength is, um, is heavily on the character side because, uh, I mean, he has a few kind of environment paintings and it's actually... You know, it's not, you know, like, I've seen way kind of, like, 
environments that are kind of just out there, you know? But he has some kind of cool environments and I'm not sure if he wants to focus just on creatures and stuff, but uh, if he did environments, I think it would still look pretty cool. Um, so this one is more of a uh, kind of an oily practice thing. Okay. Again, with the value paintings, and, and I like sometimes when artists uh, show their brush strokes and you can actually see the spacing of the brush. Um, it just looks more um, like it's done by hand because often when you do things digitally, it can become kind of boring. You know what I mean? And I think being able to show the, the human touch <laughs> In your work is um, I think it's beneficial at least for certain types of work because it makes people connect more and it kind of takes away that digital artificial feel so yeah awesome all right so again we have a value painting now this is some kind of a, it's a mix of a mech maybe it's some kind of suit Okay. Oh, by the way, you can check out yeah his channel is the robot pencil thing, and uh, you can subscribe. I am subscribed actually, but uh, I'm using a different account here. So, yeah. Oh no, this one actually reminds me of Kim Jong Gi, Kim Jong Ji, Kim Jong Gi, and uh, especially this thing here. Um, and he usually, or Anthony Jones doesn't usually do this, do these kinds of sketches. Or at least I don't see it in, in his art station portfolio, so. But as you can see, his skill in the Photoshop realm is very transferable. And his kind of, wait, is this traditional? <laughs> I can't tell anymore. Um, whatever. Okay. Another, another value painting. Um, oh shit, look at this. Again. Damn, this is, uh, he's obviously using a very simple circle brush for this one, but fuck my life. And I like how he used a soft brush to kind of indicate the shadow right here. Or to suggest the shadow. And a hard shadow, I think, here. And some highlights, some scratches. And he does sometimes use some noise near the kind of light areas. And it's it's so cool. I think these are head studies. Um, um, so this one is a little more... Again, there is a dominant color. It's kind of a blue and stuff. And yeah. So he is using a little bit of different. He's using some brushes here. But uh, again, you can tell that it's very Anthony Jonish. Um, so some people stuff. And again, he is getting better with the faces and stuff. So yeah. So this one is more of his graphical stuff, um, or very comic-like, at least because it, it does uh, kind of make it look very inkish. Now this is a kind of environment, um, and this is the character that he's kind of uh, suggesting here. Um, but yeah, I think if he did more environments, he would obviously get better, and it may reach the level of his character designs um but again you know i think he does just want to focus on creatures to or uh, character stuff so here we have another kind of a character um and usually most of it, a lot of his characters do have a humanoid form um and 
of course you know it's um, a lot of designs are based on reality so of course it would uh, <laughs> uh, kind of have a humanoid form sometimes um, or an animal form even so yeah whatever oh for, for this one though he didn't focus on a certain area to kind of render it out more so this one is more sketch sketch it's a sketch sketch um, now I think he was trying to be very experimental here um, this one is more his style I think uh, yeah Ooh. Now for this one, he is using some kind of motion blur. Now for motion blur, um, I don't want to use it often because sometimes it can it can kind of take away too much of the the painting stuff the, or the painting strokes beneath. And uh, I just think if it's appropriate, sure, but uh, you should be wary of kind of overdoing it. I mean, here it makes sense, but um, I don't know. It's it's feel it feels like it's a little too much blur. I don't know, but yeah, it's still very uh, nice. Ooh, now this one he has a lot of effects here. Kind of, he has a lot of blurs, a lot of uh, particles with some motion blur. <laughs> And obviously he has a little more noise in this one, some kind of texture stuff. And uh, and again, generally his painting, or a lot of his paintings are actually in the grayscale side. Or their value paintings, and um, yeah. So here I think it's a good, uh, he kind of blurred this guy. And it kind of makes sense because he probably wants you to focus on this part. Um... And again, if you look at the environment, I mean, yeah, it's sketchy, but, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, it's very suggestible. And, um, nice. Again, you can see, the moment you go down, it, or at the ends of the limbs, it gets a little sketchy. And then as you go in, especially usually in the head or chest area, he renders that uh, a little more. And even the shoulders. And look at the way he renders those kind of organic forms, those kind of muscle insertions and stuff. It's pretty cool. So this is Anthony Jones. <laughs> um, I think he's just uh, playing around with Photoshop. Um, ooh, these are some thumbnail sketches and um, yeah, cool. Nice. Uh, I think he is using a gradient map after doing it in grayscale for this one. I mean, I'm just assuming. And again, it's very sketchy and it's actually confident. You know, you can tell if an artist is confident with um, their kind of strokes. Um, and I think the best place to look at their confidence or to see their confidence is to uh, check out their sketches their painting sketches i think that's where you can really see their um boldness and stuff um oof fuck <laughs> uh, this guy is just flexing fuck. i mean you know if you actually squint your eyes you would assume this is some kind of 3d thing and again, he's using the simple circle brush for this one, and, um, fuck. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay. Ooh, this one is very dark. Oh, and by the way, his work, or a, lot, a big portion of his work is kind of a lean store, kind of dark material, and, um, you know, I'm not exactly super hyped up about that. <laughs> you know, I'm the type of person that's uh, not a fan of horror movies. You know, I just... Because even though it's a movie, you know, you can even feel it after, you know, that kind of uh, feeling and stuff. Um, 
So yeah. Oh, this one is more graphical. I think he is uh, kind of just experimenting, and he can actually do it. And um, it's very cool. It's very very cool. And I think he mentioned trying to uh, dabble in kind of graphic novel stuff. I'm not sure if I'm uh, recalling that right, but uh, yeah, I, I think he could do it. He could definitely uh, kind of dive in to it, because uh, yeah, even especially this one, it looks very comicish. Dun, dun, dun. Okay, ooh, so this one is a mixture of a creature and some kind of a. Hmm. I don't know. Mech? Or a suit or something? But that's uh, still awesome. Portrait sketch. Oof. Damn. Uh, you know, I think I think um every I think every single kind of beginner, or maybe not just a beginner artist, but um I think it helps to have a kind of library of really nice art and it kind of helps create a kind of standard in your mind you know and it shows you what is possible or what others have done and I used to be um, or whenever I would see work like this or like this um, <laughs> gent um or like uh, any any kind of nice artwork, I would. I remember being uh, kind of insecure and very kind of. Sometimes I would be, you know, down in a way because you know, like I would start to self, uh, I would start to question myself or doubt myself, and uh, I think that's it's very normal for say a beginner, you know, someone is just entering into this field. But eventually, I think it's for me, it's uh, that kind of feeling or. Um, way of thinking is just dying <laughs> and whenever I see artwork or nice artwork I just drag it onto my desktop or some kind of a folder and that's kind of my my default move and essentially I just collect nice artwork and it actually does inspire me to uh, paint more um so this one actually reminds me of the work of Kobe Sek. Kobe Sek. K O B E S E K. Kobe Sek. Um, I think he he is some kind of Singaporean artist or art director, and he has a lot of sketches that are like this. And uh, I will be doing an art review of his stuff later on. But uh, yeah. Ooh, now I, I think I remember watching or listening to this episode of uh, uh, this episode of his kind of streams and stuff and I think he was trying to um, uh, or they were talking about the Mandalorian stuff and I think this piece was inspired by Baby Yoda because <laughs> you know the uh, the triangle kind of silhouette so here we have another <sighs> mech piece again very cool and it's very intricate you know um this one is mm, I don't know it's it's there I feel like there are too many things or too many kind of uh, styles going on here so maybe that's why it's kind of uh, putting me off but this one even though the brush is a circle a very simple circle brush I mean come on <laughs> it looks so cool and um, yeah so this one is uh, one of my favorite pieces of his. I don't know. There's just something about this that's um, nice. And I like the eyes that kind of highlight there. It's pretty cool. And you'll see in his work, or in any kind of professional's work, they kind of um, do this thing where they like to keep their designs consistent or make sense. For example, if this thing, let's say this part, if this thing doesn't have a sharp corner, they want they'll generally apply that to every single thing for example the fashion stuff or some kind of elements in the body and something like that and um if ever they want to contrast that with something they're kind of uh deliberate about it for example 
The sharp parts are obviously in the head with these kind of horns and stuff. So it's kind of a nice contrast to the kind of soft corners in the body and the um, kind of suit or uh, attire. Very nice. And he also does this thing where he likes adding arms to everything. <laughs> And again, I like how he's suggesting a rib cage here. Wow, that is some anatomical shit right there. And again, you can see those kind of lines and some some of those highlights. Um, it's very apparent in his fashion kind of stuff. Um, and he likes adding strings to everything. <laughs> um, this one is a little more vibrant. Or uh, I actually do like the hand. It's very simple, but... Uh, the silhouette makes sense. Oh, I think this is inspired by the Wolverine or something. Um, oh, this is one of his environments, a very rare occasion in his portfolio, but you know, it's pretty cool, you know? Um, ooh, me like this one. Er, er. I look at those, man, those lats are big. Damn. Ooh, and look at the look at the chest and stuff. Look at the way it connects to the uh, shoulders. I mean, that is so cool. Oh, uh, this is some of his three D stuff. Oh uh, yeah. By the uh, he also does um a lot of three D and it's actually pretty good at three D stuff. Now eventually I will dive in on 3d work um the only 3d that i'm kind of good at although i'm not using it anymore is sketchup because <laughs> uh i have i do have a slight uh, I, I did go to school uh for architecture so it's kind of a a staple program for concepts um and usually we do a lot of boxes i mean you can do curves in sketchup but uh usually whenever you do curves you would uh use Rhinoceros, the program Rhino, um, the Rhino thing. Um, but yeah, eventually I would love to kind of go in and do some 3D stuff. And I want to get good at Blender because Blender has pretty much every thing. And of course, I think the best thing about Blender is it's free and open source. And uh, it's kind of a, a way to challenge the <laughs> monopolies in the world. And yeah, I, I like that um, whenever projects are people-funded, directly people-funded, it's, you know, I start seeing this future uh, uh, that's um, different, kind of a more positive and different future. Now for the face, it reminds me of Loish's work, Loish, L-O-I-S-H. Um, she's kind of a very famous um, digital artist and yeah although her work is generally kind of cartoonish if you look at her work it's actually kind of rendered well rendered well rendered and uh yeah i think this is 3d <laughs> i yes maybe okay another organic kind of thing some cute stuff i think Mm-hmm. And I like how he sometimes plays with his forms. And now, I think for most of his paintings that you see in his portfolio, I think it's uh, his kind of just being creative and he doesn't necessarily have like a like a big list of things to consider. And it's just kind of a... Um, like he probably just thinks, you know, I want to do a creature today and then he'll just do something. And he, he kind of just build things as he goes, I think. And it's actually pretty cool seeing all sorts of uh, weird stuff in this work. Um, I think this is 3D. <laughs> um, so now this time he's actually adding some kind of leg. 
some animal legs into the face. Um, 3D, I think. Uh, uh, whoa. She's hot. Obviously very feminine. And look at look at the silhouette edge there. I mean, and that the rendering of the rib cage. I mean, that is some extra shit right there. And again, the strings. He likes adding strings. <laughs> Very hot. Um. Oh, so I actually do like this part right here because I think he used some kind of mixture brush, and it has it. It kind of looks like a palette knife. Uh, mix or a drag of paint using the uh, palette knife and I think I'll make something of that sort you know what let me take let me uh, take note of take note of that make palette knife mixture brush palette knife mixer brush textured of course textured because it looks kind of cool, right? Right? Um, anyway. Okay, a portrait sketch. Ooh, the guy has a dimple. Um, nice. Look at the way he rendered the arm. I mean, that is... And oh, I, I actually do like the uh, the way he paints the folds. It's very, it's not as um, defined usually, but uh, it's very suggestible and it kind of gets. The, oh, excuse me. <laughs> it uh, does get the idea out, and again, he does add, likes to add those kind of white, or not white, but uh, those thin lines or edges, and then adding some highlights here and there. Excuse me. Oh wow, this one is actually pretty smooth. The for the forearm is actually kind of thin, and then the arm is kind of bulky. So I'm not sure. But again, it's a suit, I think. Um, and it's very smooth. And is this hair? It looks like a girl, though. I mean, I think it's because of it's because of the forms. It's very kind of smooth and feminine. Um, okay. Oh, this is Bella, his wife. So, yeah. You know what? Let's read the uh, description. So this is entitled Bella, my wife. One of the most important things to me is my family. And it wouldn't have such a beautiful one without my wife, Bella Jones. Aww. Most people don't know this, but I was really not the greatest or most motivated artist in my beginning years. I was just doing whatever I could do to get a job and work my butt off the best I could in the beginning. But once I had a job, I stopped trying to get better. Then Bella came into my life. She not only taught me the value of pushing yourself, she was a huge inspiration to me as she was a single mother of two working, of two, of two working her ass off to take care of them all on her own. I have never painted a portrait of her. Why? Because I still feel like I'm not good enough to capture what I see. Oh, whoa. But as I am beginning my new journey to get better as an artist, I go back to my roots, what inspires me and she is it. So it's time I restart my motivation to be a great artist. <laughs> oh shit. That is some cool stuff my brother. <clears throat> Ooh, nice. It's very pink. Um, ooh, me like the, uh, the fashion stuff here. And again, sometimes those uh, kind of thin lines here and there, and it's very suggestible. And I think this is a kind of a good way to paint, where you don't have to paint and render every single thing. And um, yeah. Oh, again, he likes adding arms to every single thing. 
Um, and again, with the strings, it's very apparent in his work. And uh, freaky. Freaky. <clears throat> now, this, I think, is something that could actually be in the Witcher series. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because, um, uh, you know, monsters and shit. Um, so this one is kind of weird. It's kind of a little bit of everything. Um, whoa, look at those intricacies in the chest, in the arms, in the biceps, in the triceps, in the kind of elbow going into the forearm and the hand. What the fuck? Man, if you look at the <laughs> if you look at the face, it actually looks kind of like an elongated anus. <laughs> you can see it, my brother. You can see it. It's right there. It's kind of an, uh, an anus that's kind of pulled up. It's very freaky because I think it's because of the folds of the is that a mouth? Imagine if that was a kind of eye, Ugh. kind of behind the. Uh, the whole fold, the folding thing in the face. Wait, 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 is that the face in the bottom? I'm not sure. I don't know. Whatever. Um. Oh, so this is actually kind of weird in his work. Weird in the sense that it's not common. Because usually when he does his uh, characters, he it's usually in a man's eye view. We're kind of looking directly at it, and it's usually not. Um, like looking from below or from the th or from the top, so it's he kind of has a standard view, and I think it makes sense because um, you don't have to uh, kind of check every box where it's it has to be dynamic. It has to have a very I don't know a skewed skewed perspective or something, or it has to have all sorts of colors. I think he just focuses on a simple idea and then he just kind of lets it be, and yeah. Because the moment you start considering all of all every other thing, like the perspective, the colors, the values, the the details and stuff, it, it can take uh, it can take a while. I'll say that. Mm. So by the way, I'm running out of coffee. Um, so this one is more of his graphical stuff, which is really, really cool. Um, I think he's experimenting here, and it actually, you can see his work, his painting stuff kind of bleed in, even on his inks. This one is cool. I like this one. Um, ooh. Some character stuff. Everything is fine. <laughs> it's very relevant um, nowadays. Um, because... <laughs> uh, oh, I think this is a manual. Oh, yeah, I think it's a manual piece of his. Very, very interesting. And again, he likes doing those kind of uh, scary teeth and stuff. Nice. I like how he uh, painted the cheek right there. You can tell that this girl is more on the cute side, friendly side. <laughs> and he's very, very, oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, he's very, very good <laughs> with the kind of midsection renderings, the abs part. <sighs> Fuck. And again, he doesn't focus on the legs too much, which makes sense. But, uh, oh, this is one of his. Light box expo artwork, and this is actually more. It leans more towards storytelling to me because, um, first of all, there's an emotion to this guy, and then I don't know. He doesn't usually do these kinds of stuff. It's usually more design stuff where he'll paint a character or a mech or something. And if he did things like this, I think. It would also be easier for him because he he already has a kind of good grasp of painting, so all he would have to do is just figure out the uh, story or and stuff like that. 
Um, nice. So I think the best thing about Anthony Jones, Anthony Jones is his painting technique. It's first, first of all, it's confident, and I do like the kind of rendered aspect where he kind of goes in and renders out certain parts, which I do like. So there's the boldness, the confidence, and then there's the uh, the kind of rendering thing, and the detail stuff, where he can kind of uh, focus in, and I think he doesn't zoom in. I think he has a video uh, uh, with Proko, the Proko guy, the Proko um, artist guy, um, and he did a kind of sketching tutorial, uh, kind of five minute sketches and stuff, and well, whenever he paints, he doesn't he doesn't really zoom in as much. He kind of paints, um, uh, making sure that the canvas is kind of edge to edge. Where he can see the entire canvas and then maybe he'll just uh, if ever he needs to he'll just kind of dive in if ever but even that it's kind of a rare thing because even I, i've seen him paint where whenever he would do details it would still be um kind of or the view of the whole canvas would still be kind of edge to edge and he would um i don't know it's, it's just um very interesting and I think he has a standing desk, which I think I would love to have one day if I can afford one. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm starting to have back problems and I'm like, what, in my early 20s? And I'm like, fuck, man, this is not good. This is not happening. Okay, the color variety in this one reminds me of the work of uh, Mikhail Barocco in episode one of the Art Review series where... He adds a little bit of everything. You can see here some reds, some greens, some blues, and it just... It's nice to see all all different kinds of uh, hues in the work. I mean, it doesn't have to be saturated or, or anything, it just has to be there. And I think it's a... Uh, again, he doesn't really... Anthony Jones doesn't really use a lot of color sometimes. Um, since he, he's kind of focused on value paintings uh, for the most part. And he likes to keep his colors very simple, generally speaking. And uh, But yeah, cool stuff, cool. Oh, look at those biceps and those lats in the back. Damn! You know, I'm trying to widen my back as well. <laughs> Get that V taper look for the babes one day and uh, right now i'm just focusing on some basic calisthenic stuff some dips um i can finally do them well and of course some chin-ups and pull-ups um and some knee raises i'm not good at my leg raises um now but eventually i'll get there and once i can do like a solid kind of leg controlled leg raise i think i'm ready for some l sits and stuff yeah one day. <laughs> one day. Ooh! So this one is more of a mixture of a creature and kind of some mech stuff for the uh, suit. <laughs> Interesting. And, uh, again, with the arms. He loves his arms. He loves his strings. Hmm. Excuse me. Ah, uh, look at those anatomical kind of uh, subtleties right there. Oh. Whoa! This one actually looks more like an editorial piece, you know? So, uh, very interesting. So this one is more opaque. He's using a more opaque brush. Very textured, but opaque brush. Damn! Damn! Dang! I'm, I'm, again, you can see in the background and even in the edges of the kind of subject, it's very sketchy and he renders certain parts a little more, especially in the, usually in the torso and sometimes the head. I mean, look at the way he renders the abs. Damn, man. Fuck. That is some cool shit. And again, look at his fashion stuff. He does have a lean. It's very, um, 
I like seeing that in his work because it's kind of fairly consistent. And um, I guess people like consistency. So, ooh, what the fuck? Um, this is confusing. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Uh, I think this is a... I think this is 2D. <laughs> Who knows, man? Who knows? Okay, this one is actually more... This can actually be some kind of a book cover or something. Because it's kind of a montage of different scenes. Ooh! So this one, his brushes are a little more, way more textured than this one. Um, you know, if you focus on the head, it actually reminds me of the aliens in the film Cowboys vs. Aliens. There's something about the head and the way the eyes are painted, or kind of position, that reminds me of those specific creatures. Cool stuff. Hmm. Interesting. So this is a hippo, and this is a monkey, or a gorilla, chimpanzee, I don't know, a rhino, and an elephant. And look at the way he renders those little bits and pieces. I mean, it's very organic. It looks very organic. Organic. <laughs> so this one is a bird, I think. It's some kind of bird. Although this thing in the back is kind of throwing me off because if you kind of cover the top part, it looks like a chick because of the arc back and everything. So I'm having some kind of a... I think there's a term for it um, in psychology um, where ideas... It's something you feel when ideas don't seem to match or are not consistent. Ah, uh, fuck. I can't remember. Um, okay, anyway, it's, this is a sketch. Um, sketch, sketch. Sketch, sketch. Sketch, sketch. Ooh! You know, the color scheme reminds me of the Matrix because of the green and stuff. Oh, look at that helmet. Look at the reflections. Very suggestible and... Um, And if you check this guy out, I mean, look at the way he, he adds, like, all sorts of forms, and he just kind of blends it together. And, uh, he kind of just attaches all sorts of things into his, um, designs. Very cool, very cool. Um. Those are some weird hands. And again, those thin lines are very apparent. So this is partly a um, environment, and he does have a character right here. And this one, actually, this character specifically reminds me of some of Mikhail Barulko's work. Because uh, Mikhail does have characters where the head is kind of a... Or the helmet, I think it's a helmet. It's kind of uh, designed this way, where it's really long, and it's, <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. Um, so, uh, yeah. Ooh, finally we're starting to uh, get into his babes and stuff. Um, you know, I actually downloaded a lot of his work, but my favorite of my favorites is his chicks and babes. I mean, look at the uh, look at that elbow. Fuck. I mean, it's so rendered. Well, it's not super rendered, but it's he renders it enough. To a point where it looks realistic and uh, I think it's because of the subtleness of the thing and of course he does have some anatomical experience right I like the boobs I like how he these boobs don't look kind of spherical because sometimes you know we when we when we paint or draw boobs it's, sometimes it can become kind of artificial and you know it's kind of annoying but look at look at that thing in between the boobs just above it where the kind of the pecs kind of meet and there's kind of a, a rivet 
or a bevel, oh, no, not, not a bevel, but a kind of dip in the muscles and stuff where the muscles are inserted. And then some of the next stuff, I mean, damn. Damn. And you'll notice in his tricks, he he adds some, first of all, the fashion is kind of cool. Again, with those thin stuff, with the highlights. And it's very uh, abstract. There is some kind of abstract ab aspect to his um, tricks. Ooh. So I think this is some of his old work. Um, it doesn't actually look like his work. Um, because maybe this one because of the rendering um i think it's because of the colors it's kind of uh, not so much apparent in his portfolio now this one although the design of the creature is kind of cool um he doesn't focus on the design and and, and i think i think he should do more well <laughs> of course I don't know what his goals are, but uh, I like stuff like this where it's kind of leaning more towards storytelling. And I think a big part in storytelling is the lighting and stuff. Because um, if this was a typical kind of sketch of his or painting, he would just draw the actual thing and then put some kind of simple background. But this one, there's some kind of environment and, you know, it, it's... It's more storytelling to me, and uh, or it leans more towards storytelling. And I think I'm more of the painter storyteller, or that's where at least I'm more inclined to uh, kind of uh, appreciate, and maybe some design if ever. But uh, yeah, ooh, this one's kind of gritty and rough. Oops, sorry about that. Sorry. Um, Damn, damn, this guy is badass, man. Oh. You know, the head looks like J uh, Chithulu, Chithulu, the kind of god in the under, um, in the kind of un deep ocean stuff. I actually watched um, Underwater, um, starring that Twilight chick. <laughs> It was actually pretty cool, man. And I love the creature designs. And uh, I actually did feel kind of scared, you know? And uh, kind of, ooh, I felt the thrill. Um, although the, the film did did run short, I think it was about an hour or something. Or just, uh, just beyond an hour, and yeah. Ooh, I like the way he does the folds as well. Now this one, this one is kind of it. I can't tell the difference between the anatomical stuff and the actual garment. So I don't know. Um, shit, shit. shit. Okay, okay, okay. It's some kind of android. No, not not an android mech. So this one is part environment, part character. Um. Okay. It's portrait stuff. Uh, this is some kind of environment. By the way, uh, Anthony Jones has a lot of paintings in his portfolio, and um, it actually reminds me to, uh, or it kind of shows that it, it is possible because I think he did uh, a video where he recorded um, painting every day. And publishing something every day on ArtStation, and eventually you can get a lot of traffic by just posting every day. And um, I thought it was very cool. Now, now, of course, he is a pro, and he can finish something within an hour. That's kind of a uh, well professional looking, right? And uh, assuming you are a beginner artist or an intermediate um, digital artist. Um, I'm going to assume you're still trying to develop your portfolio because for me my portfolio is kind of all over the place and sometimes I delete stuff and I'm not I don't really have a good process or system yet and I think Adam Duff did uh, 
talk about this where yes making good art is cool but you also need to have some kind of system so when you get offered work um you can kind of repeat the same process right and so i'm still in that stage where my process is still kind of flimsy i mean i am getting better but uh, I, i i need to uh get better at it right um so this one is more um nice <laughs> Oh, this one is more of a character. This one is actually kind of cool. It's uh, it leans more towards storytelling because, you know, I can kind of sympathize with this thing because of the emotion, right? Oh, look at that face! <laughs> Hello, cute, nice. Now this one is pretty cool. Hmm. And again, notice the position of the, his character. It's kind of fixed in a kind of man's eye view, and you can kind of see like directly in front of it, and something like that, or something like that. Um. Mm-hmm. I do like the helmet in this one. Oh, some three D stuff. I think he used some kind of mirror thing there. Um. Oh, would you look at that? I like how it's kind of painterly and graphic at the same time. Very interesting. 3D stuff. Oh. So this one is more um well obviously a character piece, but check out the the texture of his brushes. I mean, it also fits his um well subject matter because it's more organic and it can kind of suggest skin in some way and of course it does look more painterly in that regard and i also love that kind of lighting he did kind of top down lighting on this part specifically where it's a little more brighter and again you know look at the edges it's a little more sketchy and then as you go on to the center he renders that out a little more. <laughs> Pretty cool stuff. Oh, ooh, this one is kind of pumped up with a lot of color. Um, but again, this one's actually a little more sketchy because he doesn't actually render anything specifically. So, here he does render this part a little bit. So, that's oh, cool. So again, we've got something that's that kind of shows off his fashion inclination. Um, this actually looks like a Star Wars inspired thing, I feel. And again, he has those little highlights and shit. Um, I love the arc in the back. The boobs, though, they're kind of um too round for me. So this is some weird shit. Um, so these are legs and with some weird feet. Okay. And some very luscious lips. They almost look like plastic here. Or rubber. <laughs> uh. Alright. Ooh, Hellboy. Fan art. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so this is, I think this is it. He has a video entitled, um... Yes, um, talent is earned or something, and you can check out his YouTube channel for that. And yeah, I'll let him do that part. Um, rendering wise, look at this, babe. Fuck, this is actually one of my favorite pieces of his, and in general, because um, it just has everything: the fashion, the anatomy, the rendering, the lighting, and it just looks. Beautiful. You know what? Let's go back. I want to go back and just see it more. Again, you can see those kind of highlights and stuff in those kind of thin lines. 
And look at the way he rendered the, the kind of clavicles here. And that kind of cut in the center. Now I think he just painted this with the whole thing kind of just zoomed out. So I think maybe that helps to kind of paint enough to suggest those cuts. And look at the way he did the boobs. It's so smooth, right? And of course the best part, aside from the boobs, is the midsection. I mean look at those abs, right? Look at those subtle changes in value. And look at this, this slight highlight, it kind of suggests that the boob is kind of being slightly pinched, right? I mean, damn, fuck. And look at that bit of a uh, uh, kind of light separating the boob from the kind of uh, the torso or the kind of side muscles or side back thing. Oh, and look at that bit of fat that's kind of uh, pinching out. Is it pinching up or kind of compressed? <sighs> One day. <laughs> and even the hands, I mean, they're, they're not fully rendered. But they're enough to kind of suggest a hand. And again, he's not very detailed or uh, focused on the legs, so whatever. Um, I think this is a God of War thing. Because I'm only assuming that because of the color scheme. Wolverine. Ooh, another babe. And as you can see, he does have some kind of abstract elements in his work. Um, and again, he's hiding the face. And again, look at the way he paints the, the kind of boobs. And um, the arms. And again, these little anatomical stuff through the elbows. Damn. And even the hands, they're not bad. They're not bad. And some kind of slight indication of the shoulders and that kind of pinch in the armpit. Damn. Although the knees, he's not focused too much on that. At least for this piece. Um, yeah, I just ran out of coffee. Um, so I'm gonna have to drink some water. Oh. Whoa. Okay. It's time to click next. Where is it? Oof. Nice. You can see some rake brushes here and there. Some textured brushes in the bottom. Um, so I think this is one of his older pieces. I think. I'm not so sure. But uh, pretty cool. It actually, it's actually kind of very Lord of the Rings-ish. At least the designs are kind of elvish to me. Ugh. Okay, some 3D stuff. Shit, this video is running about an hour long, so fuck. Okay, I think this is one of his old God of War concepts. Um. Damn. I think we're going to try and finish this entire thing. <laughs> Portrait stuff. Very painterly textured. God of War, perhaps? Um, 3D. Mm, I think this is some of his old work, I'm going to assume. 3D, I think. Um. Uh, okay. So 3D stuff. Um, hmm, that is um. Okay, he's using some kind of flat brush here. Um, whatever. Hmm, I do like this. I, I do like the face. It's, it's a little cleaner and more well rendered. Nice. Them. Oof, this one is more graphical, very comic-ish. This one actually looks like some kind of 3D model, because the arm or the shoulders and the arms, 
and even the head it's kind of super rendered or well rendered i think and again those kind of thin lines with the highlights here and there shit <laughs> wow um that is some weird shit very look, and look at the way he kind of blends all sorts of organic forms together i mean damn okay okay you know what i'm i'm not sure if i should do some kind of a kind of a a quick sketch after these art reviews to kind of uh show off that i'm well, well, well not show off but kind of a practice and uh i don't know just uh try and kind of experiment with what i've learned or seen in the person's work so far you know what i mean this one is a cool mech or i think it's some kind of suit as well um oh whenever he does kind of bodies in general especially his women he doesn't usually add colors he's kind of a uh, more of the value painter um but uh, yeah whatever very simple nice mouth and again look at his fashion stuff he does have a lean which is really cool it's kind of a modern contemporary type of thing um urban i think that's, that's the word urban i'm not so sure i'm not so sure um this one is more i don't know oh i like how the hands kind of split in the bottom and uh again the organic forms look really really cool oof and again he focuses his rendering on a certain part usually in the chest and the head stuff hmm ooh nice back i think this is some kind of 3d thing uh, ooh nice this is some kind of suit but it does have some mech elements to it i like how he rendered the arms and of course it, oh, the torso in the face you know pretty cool and the fashion thing is kind of uh there i guess damn damn Hmm, this one's actually, I wouldn't have known that Anthony did this. Because it's kind of a deviation from his normal style for me. Um, uh, oof. Oof, again with the highlights and shit. And the strings, very, very apparent in this work. Ooh, I like the way he rendered the kind of holes in the face. And even the eyes, the wrinkles and stuff, very cool. And even the forehead kind of a uh, fuck and again he does have some dark shit um but the anatomy is nice and you know if you focus in he does have a few values um some few variety a bit of yellows i can see some yellows there and it looks more realistic that way if you have all sorts of colors and not just you know the one hue kind of uh So this is some of his old work, I believe, for Blizzard. Um, and you can tell it's a, a little different from his original or kind of uh, the work he does now. Ooh, I like this. It's very, very cool. And I like the way he shows some of the strokes. Ah, wow, that is so cool looking. Christ. Nice. He did some indents on the skin there. And the folds are very, very suggestible. Uh, oof. Oof. Hey. Uh, oof, that is a... Uh, 
Mac or is it 3D? Oh, again, oh, we have some fat in the abs. So this is cool. So she's not entirely ripped, but she does have some fat. You know, it's, it's actually not bad to have fat, by the way. You don't have to be super ripped, especially for a girl, because um, it just doesn't make sense, you know. And again, look at that, that kind of dip in the neck. That's kind of in between the clavicles. Damn. And you know, she's kind of a, a fit chick. She's working out. Um, and look at the, that kind of a shadow. That kind of caves in on the rib cage. Damn. It's hot. And you know, wow, he actually did the mouth here. Which is uh, rare. Usually he would just cover the face. But um, nice. Hot. Ooh. Hey, I think this is some kind of suit. But again, you can see he's using very, some very simple brushes. Some kind of flat brush. Circle brush. Right? Damn. Now look at her shoulders. Now this is a rounded shoulder. Now one day I will have these bad boys in my uh, arms. Ugh, look at that. This chick is ripped. Well, not entirely ripped, but uh, fucking jacked. And um, the boobs are a nice touch. Hmm. Did he use a mirror thing here? I'm not so sure. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Damn. 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 Ooh, whoa. This one is a little more textured, but god damn it. Yeah, I just dragged it to the side because uh, I want this in my library. Fuck, look at that. Look at the Look at that. I like how he added some texture. Wow. I mean, even though it's weird and it does... <laughs> well, the head kind of connects to his crotch. What is this? And there's something emanating from his behind. But damn it, look at look at also the color variety. He does have, he has some blues and purples. Right? And some greens in the bottom. Wow. And some oranges. Wow. And some yellows in the background. Wow. <laughs> and again, look at he is kind of very sketchy in the bottom. And he shows his kind of initial basic kind of line work. And he just renders or uh, focuses his rendering on certain parts. Especially here. Damn, Anthony, damn. What the fuck? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Again, he likes those kind of thin lines with the highlights here and there. And yeah, oh, the abs are kind of not as developed here. And I actually can't see the belly button. So that's kind of throwing me off a bit. But look at the boobs. Damn. You know, I remember back in uh, uh, school, uh, uh, college, um, I, I used to draw or practice my human anatomy. And I would usually, uh, of course, I would often draw the female figure. And I would usually focus on um, anything that has to do with the torso, the butt, the midsection, the back, and the boobs. And I would usually just stop at the neck. And I would just kind of doodle it um, in my notebook and stuff. And I remember um, I was painting a figure or uh, sketching out a, uh, a chick with some boobs. And the boobs were kind of far apart or it had this kind of spacing. And, and I remember one of my blockmates, uh, she kind of looked in and she said, and she actually gave me advice. She kind of, uh, uh, kind of peeked in on what I was doing and she said to kind of push the boobs more. <laughs> together and make it look more kind of mushy or well, not mushy but more compact because it's it's more like that generally and i'm like oh okay <laughs> and uh yeah i was actually surprised because usually when people check out my my uh, sketches and stuff they would be like they would just call me a pervert <laughs> you know jokingly of course because everyone is perfect um 
Yeah, and I was like very surprised. Like, did she just give me advice? Yeah. Uh, ooh, damn! I like how he. Well, I like it. <laughs> Character stuff. So this one, he has a lot of color in this one, and again, he likes adding arms to everything. And I actually don't know how far this goes because it's taking forever. You know, it's been like an hour and 20 minutes. So eventually this will have to stop. Very gra It's a mix of everything. There is some texture in the background, some graphical stuff, and some slight bits of renders. But it's, I think it's more graphical in nature. Okay, this one is more sketchy, but it's very painterly to me. I like it. Oh, so this one is one of the rare occasions where he actually paints the face. Not bad, not bad, Mr. Jones. Oh, he did hide the abs, but the boobs, you know, he did compensate with the boobs. And again, the clavicles. The kind of shadow just above the clavicles. Damn. And again, the strings. And those thin lines with those kind of bits of highlights here and there. Although the boobs are... Magnanimous. This is another mech piece. Nice. Oof. Oh, so he does sometimes rarely draws the butt or paints the butt. Although it, this one is kind of a side view, so I don't count it. <laughs> it has to be... I, I need to see the kind of crease. Because uh, that's, that's what makes a good butt. Um... But let us focus a bit of the back. You can see that kind of shoulder blade suggestion over here. Wow. And again, the way he rendered the shoulder and the arm. And a bit of the tricep. And even the elbow stuff. Damn. And again, the thin lines with those highlights and the strings. So this one is more... This is actually kind of sexual to me. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I think it's because of the forms. They're kind of slender and stuff. So I don't know. It's kind of turning me on a little bit. I know. I know. It's weird. I don't know. Uh, I need to stop looking at this thing. Um, next, 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 next. Ooh, cool mech. This is a... Um, uh, oh, I like the smiley face right here. Um, Ooh, this one has a little more color in it, and yeah. Oh, so this one is oh, kind of a suit, and yeah, very intricate kind of design stuff. Again, he likes sometimes connecting like certain body parts with other body parts, and uh, you know, whatever, yeah. Ooh, this one is a little different because it's a little more cinematic. Well, not cinematic, but uh, he's playing more with some lighting stuff where it's not really just about the design. There's there's some slight storytelling here because uh, it's, it's kind of showing a little bit of emotion of this kind of bird thing. So, yeah. Very sketchy, but oh, come on. Look at that. Damn. Mm. <laughs> mm. Oof. Now I can't tell if this is a chick, but again, look at those thin lines with the highlights and the strings. Hmm. <clears throat> Oof. Hi. Damn. The, the head actually reminds me of the, um, or at least some of the forms remind me of the Splice kind of creature in the movie uh, Splice. She was actually kind of hot though in the film, I don't know. I, I, I <laughs> she was so hot though, I mean I would. Oof, I would. I know, I'm a weak man. But this one is kind of simple. Um, 
Ooh, a nice back. And I like how he showed a bit of the, uh, the kind of roundness of the rib cage. And it looks more natural that way. Nice. Okay. This actually looks like Scar- Oh, <laughs> the description of the uh, this thing is, do I look like Scarlett? Yes. She does look like Scarlett Johansson. Oh, she's so hot. And those lips. Dang. Oh, look at that eye. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Again, the rendering of the organic forms, it's very, very cool. Um, and again, circle, circle brush, I think. Circle brush. Damn. Finally, a face. Well, actually, he does uh, do some faces from time to time. Again, with the strings and the kind of uh, highlights with the thin lines and shit. Oh, look at those earrings. Thick. Oh, we've got some line drawings here. Nice. Hmm. Odd. Odd. Ooh, wow, what is this? So you see how he kind of blends all sorts of forms together and it's very, very interesting. Mm, yeah, although the, the rendering of the body is not as good compared to his other work, um, especially, I think it's because of the knee, it's kind of too sharp, so. Gosh, he has a lot of work. Um, I should stop. <laughs> what is this? Oh, I like this one. Look at the way the abs are. And the folds in the skin because she's kind of leaning in on one side. Nice. Fuck. And the boobs, of course. And the neck. It's amazing. And the hand. Nice. One day. One day. This actually reminds me of the Star Wars kind of general with the forearms. Um, the kind of a. Uh... Yeah. The kind of part living creature and part robot thing. The general, right? Ooh. Ooh, this one actually looks more realistic in some way. And, uh, wow. Interesting. Oh, shit. Oh, sorry about that. Um,. Shit. Um, okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I think I'll stop. Oh shit, I don't like this. It's too scary. Um, I think I'll stop in one hour and 30 minutes. Oh, I love the back. So she's kind of fit. And I, I did like that. I do like the fact that he kind of rendered the uh, a bit of the ears. This one's kind of weird, but this one is nice. Although the neck, the neck is kind of too thick, I think. I'm not so sure. But damn, and look at that butt. Beautiful. <laughs> Looks like an owl. Nice, very minimalistic, but I uh, guess the job done. Awesome. Oof. And I like how sometimes he adds or he blends the fashion stuff onto the skin of the actual creature and you can see some kind of indents and some features in his work and again he likes adding all sorts of limbs mm. wow 
would I? <laughs> Damn, I mean, this is... It's kind of turning me on, though. Wow. What is this supposed to be? It's probably some kind of blood-sucking thing. God, it's so sexual. It reminds me of Geiger's work. Wow. You know what? Let's keep going. <laughs> Again with the limbs. He likes adding all sorts of things together. Oh my lord. Again, the abs and of course the boobs. Oh, and look at that neck. Jesus Christ. And I like how he painted the mouth again this time. Whoa. I like the kind of bits of fat in the bottom lip. And those little subtle changes in values. Damn. Ah. And if you kind of zoom out or kind of see it from uh, afar, um, it actually there is some graphical as aspect to it as well. Um. So, yeah. So it, he's not just designing the actual character, but also like the the illustration aspect where it looks good in a certain frame right so interesting oh my lord damn oh i like the designs here again the thin lines with those highlights and you can even see it here and here and even here wow and the boobs of course now the clavicles aren't as defined and even the neck but I guess she, uh, she is wearing some kind of a suit, I think. Kind of a dressing. Oh yeah, she is. You can see the... F oh, whoa. I did not notice that. There are kind of folds right here in the boobs. So it's kind of a see-through kind of thing. Damn, Anthony. Damn. Step aside, bitches. Wow. Now this one is obviously some kind of alien, I think. Because there is no nose. Or there is no human nose. Wow. And again, he does have that design thing where he likes adding those thin lines with those highlights. Now, I'm not sure if this part is the belly button. But uh, I think... Um, and it, it is kind of throwing me off a bit. But... Uh, wow. Now, hopefully this is a girl. Because I'm kind of turned on. I mean, if you just kind of, even if you just cut it here and focus on the head, look at the, look at the way it's designed. And you can even see those kinds of folds in the skin or the, the kind of, I don't know, those tendons in the neck. Damn. And those traps are kind of just enough to kind of show that it's a functioning being. <sighs> Fuck. Oof. Oof. Butt out. This is more of an Instagram post. <laughs> it's going to be common uh, uh, position for ladies on Instagram. But again, you'll notice in his fashion stuff, those thin lines and then those bits of highlight. It looks very, it can look very traditional, like ancient, but very modern as well. Wow. Oh, that is so, that is so hot. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I think we're going through his kind of phase of, like, chicks. Um, look at the abs. First of all, the body is very fit looking. Kind of a, I would assume, a kind of runner or something. And the fashion, the design aspects, those bits of fashion design and stuff. But look at those abs. Again, if you check out his kind of midsections, whenever he renders the kind of midsection part, look at those abs. Damn. Fuck. Whoa. <laughs> so again, he's kind of blending all sorts of farbs together, but damn it, look at the way he renders those pecs. Damn, this guy's fucking jacked. Although he does have a nice kind of a <laughs> but is this some kind of tumor? I'm not so sure. <laughs> and I think he's just kind of playing around with the forms and um, it also looks very cool. 
Oof. I like the I like this hand though. Even though they're kind of simple, they're not super dynamic. But there is some kind of dynamicness to it. <sighs> okay. Oh, <coughs> excuse him. Drink some water. Sorry about that. Um. All right. Now we have some characters. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Is this pixel art? I think this is pixel art. Oh, it is. Nice. Nice. All right, now this is just elegance right here. I like how we can tip the hip onto the side. Nice. Excuse me. Oh, redhead. Very cool creature. It's kind of part alligator-ish, with some insectess insectiness. Um. Oh, this one is more cartoony. Nice boobs. Um. This is three D, I think. Right. Cool. Gosh, I actually need to pee now. <laughs> Ugh, the coffee plus the water. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Nice. Look at that. Look at those bits of texture and folds and stuff. Especially in the head, even in this part. Damn. Damn. Nice. Character sketch painting thing. Um, nice beard, bro. Um, I can't really grow one, so whatever. Ooh, nice. Oh, again now for this one, it's one of his. I think procreate sketches and stuff. If you uh, check out the abs, it's well rendered, right? Pretty cool, hey. Eh? Um, so this one is, I don't know, um, oof, look at that design, simple brushes my brother, simple brushes, <laughs> fatty, oof, nice, he's kind of blending some of his creature stuff with some of his fashion stuff. Oh, wow, again, circle brush. Hmm, very textured, nice. Oh, wow, this is one of my favorite pieces of his as well. Ah, look at that, it's so pleasing to the eye. The colors, the design. And I like how it's not fully rendered, because I think that's the appeal. Wow. Damn. Interesting. So he has arms within arms. Armception. Ooh, damn. And I like how he made this look a little more metalish because of the highlights and shit. Or the color dodge, maybe. Wow. And I like how he kept, again, the uh, the non-essential parts so sketchy. That is a cool looking thing, man. Whoa. Dude, this is some kind of demonic shit. I'm not so sure, but it looks cool. Um, look at that. I love the hue variety. Yellows, some greens, some reds and pinks, some kind of neutral whites, I think, or grays. I mean, it's heavily in the warm side. His only kind of cool parts here are some blues in the background and then some greens. 
Look at the way he renders the forms, my man. Damn. I mean, this guy is like... I don't even know. That is so cool. That is so cool, man. And I, I said again, I suggest downloading or having a library of all sorts of your favorite pieces and let those inspire you. From time to time, check those, um, check your libraries out and let that feed you. And uh, again, it also develops a good standard or, or at least possibility of what's achievable, right? Interesting. Interesting. Ooh. Uh, uh, by the way, I just took a piss. Um, <laughs> I just paused the recording for a while. And then, yeah, I took a piss. Um, I feel so much better now. Um... Oh, she's kind of cute. Um, I like how he just left the background um white, and again he rendered the chest pretty well, and even the face. He kind of blended the face with the uh, actual kind of fashion thing. This video actually has been running for about an hour and forty minutes, and uh, this is going to take so long to render. So I think I should um kind of limit my top my art reviews to about an R yeah cuz uh, it's just taking too long and uh, okay we'll do five more okay an Android no a mech piece pretty cool it's kind of I think this is 3d mm, wow this is some cool shit no he did have a dom it, 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 it there there is <laughs> There is a dominant color, and that is yellow and gold. And um, he does have a face, although he didn't actually attach it to the, you know, to the head. It's kind of here. So it's some kind of weird shit, um, but amazing, amazing. Holy shit! You know what? We'll stop here. I think this is a good enough uh, piece to stop on very sketchy um where it's not as important where it's really more about the silhouette and here he focuses his rendering on the oh look at those abs look at them biceps and those forearms and a bit of the tricep and some kind of shoulder here wow and even this arm compared to this arm you know you don't actually have to render this arm fully because you have some kind of you can kind of fill in the gaps, right? Damn. So hopefully, um, if you're not familiar with Anthony Jones, with uh, Mr. Jones, um, I suggest you, uh, well now you know, Mr. Jones. So check out his work, um, subscribe to his kind of robot pencil thing. And I think he does have a mentorship, right? Um, if you would like to get mentored, <laughs> check him out. Um, so yeah, I think, okay, what can I apply to my own work? First of all, the rendering stuff where he focuses his rendering on certain parts and the way he renders anatomical stuff and um, his mechs. I like the organic rendering stuff and the simple kind of mech designs. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah. And again, he's kind of focused in on character stuff, so I think, yeah, very, very cool anatomy. Um, if there's one thing I should, uh, or I can take away, or I can immediately apply, is my painting, uh, confident painting, with <laughs> some nice render, with some nice focused rendering. I think that's a good, um, uh, standard or goal to have or kind of philosophy or approach to apply in my own work and uh, i may be doing another kind of uh, playlist or series where i kind of 
update my portfolio and you can kind of see what my progress is and helps keep me accountable and for someone especially if you're kind of starting out from like nothing i think um, doing that series can help in portfolio building and uh, it's also a great way to get some feedback um because uh if you check out my art station it's kind of boring and uh you know i don't really have a thing i don't really have a style yet but i'll get there eventually um i just need to uh, do more projects and um yeah stay tuned i hope you join me and uh if you like this video please subscribe and uh yeah i'll see you in the uh, next videos or following videos